。はい。In this video, I'll show you guys three examples on how to solve a quadratic equation by taking a square root on both sides. And let's check this out first. First of all, we want to begin by having the equation in this form. Parentheses with x inside, and then raised to the second power, and we have to make this equal to a number, all right? We have to isolate this part first. And then we literally just take the square root on both sides. And you see, the square and the square root will cancel each other out. And you have to remember, be sure, be sure, you put a plus minus on the right hand side with the number. And we will end up with two equations. Once the square and the square root cancel out, we will just have the inside. The inside doesn't change. The first equation that we have to solve is that the inside is equal to the positive square root of this number. And by the way, this is the number, the number sign. It doesn't mean the hashtag, all right? Anyway, right here, you also have to solve inside. It's equal to negative square root of what the number was, all right? And now let's check out this example. We have parentheses with x plus 2 inside, and then raised to the second power, and this is equal to 36. And that's exactly what we want to have first, isn't it? And with that being said, we can just go ahead, take the square roots on both sides. And you have to remember, 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 be sure, be sure, be sure to put a plus minus on the right hand side. Okay, we can continue. Square, square root cancel. And we'll just end up with the inside, which is the x plus 2, right? And then you can see this is equal to, you keep the plus minus like this, and you do the square root of 36, which is just going to be a regular 6, like that. And now, this is technically two equations, right? This means we have to do x plus 2 equals to the past is 6. Or the other one is x plus 2 equals to the negative version of the 6. So we have to put on negative 6 like that. And now we can just solve this and solve that and we'll be done. Right here, we can just minus 2 on both sides so that we can get the x by itself. And we can get x equals to 6 minus 2, which is 4. And for this one, x plus 2 is equal to negative 6. We do exactly the same thing. Minus 2, minus 2. This and that will cancel. But in this case, x will be negative 6 minus 2. And that will give us negative 8, like this. Once again, we end up with two answers. In this case, we have 4 at negative 8. And now let's check out the second example. For this one, we have 2x squared minus 1 is equal to 49. And let me ask you guys this first. How many times do we see the x in this equation? Only one time, isn't it? This is the only place that we have the x. And this is x to the second power, isn't it? In this case, since there's no other x, we can just try our best to isolate the x squared right here and put all the number on the other side. And we'll end up with what we want to have to begin with. And let me show you how to do that. Because we have the 2x squared and then minus 1, right? We have to get rid of the minus 1 first. Well, we can just add the 1 on both sides so that this and that will be cancelled, isn't it? And then we will have the 2x squared and this will be equal to 49 plus 1. That's 50, like that. And now this is 2 times x squared. We have to get rid of this 2 first. How to do that though? Well, because this is 2 times x squared, so we can divide by 2, so that this and that will be cancelled. And we do the same thing on the right-hand side as well. And then we continue. We can get x squared equals to 50 over 2, and that's 25, like that. And you see, this is x, and then to the second power, just like that. x to the second power, and it's equal to a number, right? So we can just go ahead and take the square roots on both sides. Right here, take the square root right here and right here. And you see the square square root cancel. And be sure, be sure, be sure, you put a plus minus on the right hand side. The left hand side, we will just have the x by itself now. And this is equal to, let's put down the plus minus. And when we take the square root of 25, we will get 5. This means what? This means 
x is equal to positive 5 or the other possibility is x is equal to negative 5. So this is what it means. And in fact, you could have boxed the answer right here. Okay, this is totally okay for you to present the answer this way. Put a plus minus when you just have a number 5. And you have to remember this means the same as that. And now let's move on to the next example. This example is slightly bigger, but it's okay because we can handle it. Here we have 6 plus 2 and then times the parentheses with 2x minus 3 inside and then square. And this is equal to 56. Remember, we want to have the parentheses with the x inside and then square. This part right here being isolated and make this equal to a number, right? And with that being said, we have to isolate this part first. And before we continue, you see that right here, yes, we have the 6 plus 2, but you cannot add the 6 plus 2 together because this 2 is being multiplied with this parentheses to the second power. So they are together. With that being said, how can we get rid of this 6 first though? Well, this is a positive 6, right? So we can just subtract 6 here so they will be cancelled and do the same thing on the other side, like that. Right? Keep that in mind. And then we can continue from here. We will write this down. This is 2 and then the parentheses with 2x minus 3 inside and then square and this is equal to 56 minus 6. That's 50 like this. And next, yes, we have this 2 and yes, we have this parentheses, but we have the parentheses to the second power, isn't it? With that being said, do not distribute the 2 into the parentheses. That's once again the wrong order of operation because parentheses squared. So we have the power right there. To get rid of this 2, you see, this is 2 times this quantity. We will have to divide by 2 on both sides. When I divide this side by 2, this 2 and that 2 will be cancelled. Once again, do not distribute this 2, okay? So there are two really common mistakes I just pointed out. Make sure you don't do that. This will be the correct way to follow the way, the order to solve the equation. Anyway, we divide 2 right here. We also divide the 2 on this side. And we will have the parentheses with the 2x minus 3 inside and then square. And this is equal to 50 over 2. That's 25. Okay? You can imagine this right here, they always have to stay the same. Right? So do not distribute the 2 and this and that. Once again, you shouldn't be adding the 6 and the 2 earlier. And this is what we have now. This is exactly what we want, isn't it? So now we can just take the square root right here. Likewise, take the square root right here. And be sure you put the plus minus with the number. On the left hand side, this and that will be cancelled. And we will first have the 2x minus 3. And this is equal to, let me write down the plus minus. Work out the square root of 25. That will be 5. Like that, isn't it? This right here means we have two equations. The first one is 2x minus 3 equals to positive 5. And the second one is that we have 2x minus 3 equals to negative 5. And that's this step right here. So we have to solve these two equations now. This is not bad though because we can just add a 3, add a 3, right? And then this will be 2x equals to 5 plus 3, that's 8. And then we can divide by 2 on both sides. So cancel, cancel. x is equal to positive 4. And that's our first answer. And for this one, 2x minus 3 is equal to negative 5. We add a 3 as well on both sides. So cancel, cancel. And then we will have 2x equals to negative 5 plus 3. That's negative 2, like that. 2 times x, so we have to divide by 2 so that they will cancel, and we divide by 2 right here as well, and we can get x by itself, and this is equal to negative 2 divided by positive 2, that's negative 1. So we have two answers, 4 and negative 1, just like this. Right? Hopefully you guys find this video to be helpful, and be sure you guys watch my next video, because I will show you guys a technique called the completing the square to solve a quadratic equation. If you guys haven't subscribed already, you should do so right now. Thank you so much. Bye.